Hello. Hello and welcome to Explore Home Repeat. My name's Matt and I'm Izzy and today we are up north at Knowlesley <laughs> Safari Park near Preston. First thing in the morning we've got our car safari booked and then later on after that we're going to go around the foot safari. I think they've got a bit of an amusement park, there's a bird display, a sea lion show, lots of things to go and visit. I also think there may be a chance of a little train ride as well which is always uh, really good. You looking forward to it today? Yeah, I am. I mean, I don't know what to expect from this place. I've never been, so look forward to exploring somewhere new, see what they've got, see like how long we spend here as well for the sure. price. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, tickets were only about £16, £17, pounds, something like that. So initially sounds like really good value in comparison to something like Longleat that was about £35 a ticket. While you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe for Dale reviews all across the country to give you ideas to where to go on your next family day out. Right, you ready to go? Let's go. So we've just got here, we are just entering. We are here first thing in the morning as they open at 10 o'clock. You can go and do the foot safari or the car safari. We decided we'd do the car safari as we're here so early, get it done when it's really nice and quiet and then go into the kind of more traditional zoo bit after. Wow, this is a good surprise. First thing in the morning, we've only been here about 10 minutes and there's an amazing view of these rhinos. It is so cool. Yeah, it's so impressive. They're such massive animals, aren't they? And they're, they're just so beautiful in their own way. Oh my gosh, that is close. That is close. That is very close, Wow, actually. that is... <laughs> through the baboon enclosure. I think from our last experience, we might give this a miss. <laughs> so we can go around the edge. So I think that's what we're gonna do and try and see them from afar. But if you are very brave and you're not too fussed about your own car, obviously just go right in and explore the baboon enclosure. It is at your own risk. Car parts are not retrieved. So once they're off, they're off. So we've just entered the lion reserve. I'm looking out keenly to see if we can find some lions. Nothing at the minute, but this is about the first time that we've actually had a sign to tell us where we are. They really could do with some signage to let you know what zone you're in. Look how close you are. Really close. It's great. So here is a map of Knowlesley Safari kind of on foot area of the zoo. So you've got this huge great big lake uh, with boats. Uh, there's then a wild trail, wolf country. There's a bird of prey live exhibit. You've then got like a, looks like to be a train with a, a route around, goes to the tapirs and red river hogs, the giraffe house with a viewing platform, the Amur tiger trail, really looking forward to that. And then you've got this whole amusements area with a sea lion display, oasis restaurant, really looking forward to it. So we just had lunch, a very quick lunch, jacket potato in the Oasis Cafe. We made it just in time to go to the sea lion display at midday. There's a few of them throughout the day. We're going to see if we can get to this one now. Love a sea lion display. Until you stand here, you realise how high that ball was. Really high up. Yeah, very high. It was very impressive. So for kids and adults alike, to be honest, there's loads to do here just by the entrance to this on-foot safari. So you've got, this is this big sea lion display area behind us. There's this big sand pit. You've then got the rattlesnake, like a little kiddie's coaster. There's a big like swing carousel and a huge, great big like swinging pirate ship type thing. Loads of little rides. Yeah. 
There's this amazing bush dog enclosure and there's loads of them all climbing over this log. One's ended up swimming in the water. They seem absolutely fine with it. Apparently they're the smallest animal that hunts in packs. They're amazing. This tiger enclosure is very well themed, isn't it? It's very yeah. like new. It does. It does definitely looks like one of the newer parts and you kind of have to explore around it. It's not like you just go to one enclosure and, and you just that's it you kind of go all the way around it there's loads of sort of window parts you can look through I haven't actually seen a tiger yet but the enclosure looks really nice it's just such a shame there's no tigers because this enclosure I've never seen anything like it. it's one of the best enclosures I've ever seen yeah no, it's just so beautiful like these windows are massive yeah but just not a tiger to be seen it must be tucked up inside We've got our Knowlesley tokens for a train ride. It's two tokens per person, so that's two pounds a person, which is a bit steep for a quick little train ride. Let's give it a try. So this train ride's quite fun, really. There's, there's not a lot to it, and it's only a tiny little train, but you go through a few sort of different enclosures. Through this little wood bit, just going past the giraffes now. And for two pounds a person, it's a bit of fun for the kids, definitely. Now we're just waiting at Flight of the Talons, which is like the bird of prey uh, show. Just waiting for it to start. I love these things, so good. In front of the kind of lake, with the train going past in the distance, really pretty. Again, everything about this park is really, it just looks great. So what did you think of the Bird of Prey show? I thought it was like quite relaxing, they're very knowledgeable. It yeah. Was, it was really interesting. It wasn't as like crazy as say the falconry thing at Warwick Castle. No, saw. it was small scale, yeah. but very interesting. They had about five, six different birds, something like that. But again, all included in the price and generally really, really good. Don't expect some massive show like Izzy said, but yeah, still worth going to. Make sure you go and get to all those shows. So that's our day over here at Knowlesley Safari Park. What did you think? Yeah, it was a great day. Definitely a solid day out, yeah. I would say. I think for the price, I think it was really good value. It's half the price of Longleat, and I don't think it's half the attraction. I think the car safari took about an hour, hour and a half to go around, and I think you could easily spend three, maybe four hours in the kind of on foot safari part. So there's plenty to do here. For the money, it definitely seems good value. Any highlights? I quite like the sea lions. They were, that was quite good fun. I mean, it was short, but yeah. it, you know, we got a lot out of it, a lot of enjoyment. The whole crowd was like clapping and yeah. yeah. I, I did feel a bit bad. They were making a kind of do tricks, which I know is perhaps not kind of the most ethical these days, but they did try to back it up with kind of environmental stuff and teaching about sea lions in the wild as well. So that was quite good. Uh, the train ride <laughs> for two pounds a person I think that's worth doing also the bird of prey show make sure you do those shows because I think if you don't do those perhaps you you may not get as much from it as as you possibly could plenty of good food options pizza ice cream all the usual kind of zoo stuff but that uh, cafe we went to as well that was really good and again great value so all in all a really great day don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.